Them Damn Mexicans presents TDM Talk. Hey, what's up, everybody, man? Thank you guys for tuning in to a very special edition of TDM Talk. I'm your host, David. And I'm Melissa. And we'd like to welcome our viewers and our listeners in the UK and Canada and all across the country, man. We appreciate you guys' support. Make sure you hit that subscribe or follow button if you're listening on Spotify or Apple. Make sure you follow us. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe as well to our both hosts uh, and the channel. So we appreciate all the love and support. Today, I said it's a special episode because it is TDM Talks 100th episode. She's like, raise the roof. I was like, yeah, I like that. I like yeah. that. So what? let me ask you this. So when you think, when I first brought it up to you, like saying, I guess I didn't think of it like a big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it's a big deal. A yeah. hundred episodes. Man. That consistency. Give yourself fucking credit. Think, hey. think back on everything. Because we're about to really go through everything. I want to, I want to know the journey. Like, tell me what the journey has been. Yeah, for sure. It, journey is like the correct word. Um, and, and I guess I, I, I say that it's not like a big deal to me because I, I'm such a moving forward type yeah. of person, you know. So, But we're going to celebrate all the victories. I, yeah. I, I always say we celebrate the small victories and the big victories, but we keep, you know, you pushing forward. You got to celebrate yourself. Yeah. Because you I, know what? TDM Talk, like, it wouldn't be TDM Talk without you. Like for real. Look, Thank you. Cheers. You let me be a part of this and I appreciate you. Yeah, I say you're a part of the uh you know, the, the continuing the, the legacy of what we've been doing with this for the past uh actually January will be two years that wow. we've been doing this. Yeah, so it's it's been um the the, the journey has has been uh, definitely uh, it's seen its ups and downs to the point where like I thought I wasn't even gonna, you know, continue doing this, and we're gonna get into a little bit about that as we go on through the episode. We'll be actually showing you guys some clips of some of, you know, our favorite moments and and, and uh, whatnot, things like that. So, yeah, make sure you, you know you stay tuned in, and you know, drop your comments if you have a favorite segment or something that you saw in an episode or interview. You know, let us know in the comments what what it is. Tell me, what made you want to start doing podcasting? So, like, I'm a big, like, fan of podcasting. Like, I love watching podcasts. Who inspires you the most? Uh, or who inspired you the most? In the Maybe beginning? Say it like that, yes. I would have to say, indirectly, uh, someone like, like, Vlad TV. Um, yeah, he's a good interviewer. Yeah, because that was the original format. Like, I wanted to do that. Like, I didn't want to be on camera. I wanted to be behind the camera and, and just focus on who I was interviewing yeah. and whatnot. That was going to be the, the the actual blueprint to what we were going to do. But, you know, but things change. But your face is, like, the actual Them Damn Mexicans brand. I like never imagined face. that would be. I wanted, a, yeah. I wanted nothing to do with being in front of the camera. None of that. But you know what? That makes you real. Because when you're behind the camera, no one can see you. People can hear you. Yeah. But they're trying to like imagine who is that? Who is that talking? So the fact that you put your face in the camera to represent them damn Mexicans, like mm-hmm. that's dope. See, that's I never so even dope. thought about it like that. Yeah, you Thank guys, you. yeah, you gotta dig deep in there, cause man, like I said, a journey where you started, where it was, what what was a breaking point? What what made you think that you didn't want to do this? Well, in my bad, I didn't even answer the first question, but like, oh, yeah, the, um, no, no, you're good. <laughs> I, I just thought about that. I was like, wait, I didn't even finish, uh, and that was on, that was on me, uh, off track. But so it it really just started with the idea of wanting to do it, and having a creative platform for because up until that point, the only people I knew that were doing it was like Javaz, you know, shout out to Javaz. You know, he's been doing it for a long time and, and he was definitely an inspiration, you know, and I didn't yeah. know him, but, you know, just seeing what he was doing and, yeah. and, and whatnot, I was like, man, that's dope. Like I would. So then it, it transitioned into us getting on Clubhouse, which is an app that you can talk to each other on. You can't see each other, but we can talk to each other. Oh, wow. I never heard of it. Yeah. So we would have. Is it like a Tinder? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like a t- I don't know what Tinder is. So, I'm just no, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I do know, but not like that. So, anyway. <laughs> Uh, so, so it was an app where we can kind of like talk to each other. Uh, um, you would just you, you use your phone to talk into it. Mm-hmm. And every week we'd have a subject, 
And what was so dope about it was like we had people tapping in from everywhere, man. We had people. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how. I, how that's kind of how I, I was introduced to the people in Minnesota. Pull up with do that podcast. Mm -hmm. Shout out to them. They used to tap in every week. We had people in Dallas and all over the country that would come in our room and, and we would just talk about basically like the things we talk about now. Yeah. And and it grew and grew and, and then I was saying, Man, I'm gonna we're gonna end up having a podcast. And I still remember some of the people from that room telling me now that like, Man, bro, you spoke that in you were saying that then. I remember when we were in that little room talking and then you yeah. were like, Man, we're gonna have a podcast. Then I saw Real Talk 100. Um, shout out to Malcolm and Lisa. They uh, Malcolm had posted they were you know have your own talk show or, or podcast or whatever. And yeah. I was like, damn, this might be a sign. So I yeah. reached out and asked how much whatever. whatever. We made it happen. If the stars align, huh? Man, yeah, when I talk, you. when you say align, it's crazy because then we had all those doors start opening, and that's what makes it crazy. Like wow. Everything so just much love you have received. No, for real, I appreciate it. Like for real, it's still surreal to me sometimes. Like seeing the comments, seeing the numbers just going up, and and mm -hmm. uh, it, it's just it's genuine, man. It's organic, and and I wouldn't have it no other way, you know. So yeah. you know, and it's real. It is, and that's what yeah. that's what I want. It's you, yeah. no fake in here, no no bots, no you know no. nothing crazy. Uh, so yeah, you know, man, I want to shout out to, of course, Malcolm and Lisa, because they gave us the first start. I also want to shout out our, um, our original cast, you know, Adrian Angelo, uh, Mexican Connected, uh, Angie, uh, from Trap Sauce, you know, they were a part of the original group. Uh, and that's around the same time I met Hardcore, who did all our, like, everything literally came together at the yeah. right time, and, and, you know, we had a, a good thing going. You know, we yeah. were live in the beginning, so it was it was definitely um, it was beautiful. It was see. a blessing. Yeah. yeah, it's it's cool to see you along your journey because yeah. I met you when you were with your original cast. Correct. Um, well, towards I guess towards I guess I met at almost every everybody, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I went there one day to go sponsor and deliver some trip sauce, so I got mm -hmm. to see everybody there. So yeah, you know, I got to see you. From so that was really dope and we got to try drip uh drip yeah, sauce for the first got time to try on air sauce. i you was know. so geeked out really yeah because i'm just a salsa person <laughs> and i got like introduced and i got you know brought on to you know yeah. podcast so i really appreciate you because you really did create a platform for me and i think you created a lot of platforms for a lot of people because i heard about you through crystal uh yummy treat Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, she's the one that told me how much love and support that you show a lot of people. And I think we just connected. And from there, it was like, boom, you, you treated me like a little sister. You yeah. know what I mean? You really did. So I appreciate you. I, I, I tend to, you know, recognize uh, people's uh, persona, I guess, or, the you know, seeing their aura or, or yeah. how they are as a person. You did our first toy drive actually with us. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we got to talk and I seen how well you were doing. And, and I, I saw the same in you, honestly, mm -hmm. like what I saw in me, like the, the love that people had uh, for you. So, that it, it, you know, you naturally gravitate towards yeah. that same type of, you know, vibe. And and since then, we've always been, you know, locked in in some yeah. kind of way, shape or form. Yeah. And then it's like what started off as just you being a vendor at my event. Now you're the co-host of TDM Talk, yeah. you know, so. Oh, yeah. I elevate. Yeah. <laughs> So, so like, no, for real. At, what, what, at one point, we'll revisit this story later on yes. down the road. And we, you know, all this is kind of crazy. How I'm like, I was just a salsa girl. Right. <laughs> no, for real. But, okay, so I was asking earlier, what made it so tough that you thought about it? Like, it was in your mind. And sometimes it's us. Like, we get in our own head. We self-sabotage. So I can't understand that. But, like, what? Was it just a moment you were going through in life? Well, to be honest, like after the first few months, when once the, the, the original cast had kind of bounced, you know, and left, um, I didn't know what I was going to do because I was so dependent on Adrian was our production guy. You know, I didn't know how to do any of that stuff. Yeah. Um, and then I wasn't really prepared to take on the role by myself, although I, although at some point I ended up doing it. And I said I, it, it might come to that, mm -hmm. I, I, but I wasn't ready at that point because things had been planned out. Like I already had the guests lined up and everything. So when 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 they you know when they left, it left me in kind of a, a crazy situation. Like, yeah. man, what do I do? And I just I just said, you know what? Let me just cancel everything and then kind of regroup and reset and then um, 
and then you know restart again you know so don't ever think that you can yeah. never just take a break and to kind of you know, sometimes you got to take that one step back to take two forward yeah and that's exactly what i did and and you know you know what i see through that what you're telling me i see it is like god has a plan for everybody and i feel like it was in your plans to do it solo for a good while yeah. So you can say you know how to do this solo. So with with or without anybody, yeah. even including myself, you got this. Like you got this. And, this and, is your brand. And if you remember, I told you the same thing yeah. when you first started. To, you know, and then and, uh, when you talked about you know you were gonna do the podcast with someone else, I was like, but be prepared to have to do it by yourself because that. Yeah. And. and and I, it, it it really does teach you like the fundamentals of everything. So it's a good thing because if this is your brand, then you kind of have to touch on every single aspect which you have. I think like a a, a real a real boss or whatever you want to call it, or a real leader will yeah. know how to do every aspect yeah. of everything. Like even me just starting yeah. to learn how to edit now and and do things like that. It's taught me that like okay now I know I don't really need nobody you know what I'm saying yeah. like so if I choose to work with someone it, it's out of like a, a mutual yeah or they're know, talented admiration. and, and yeah. we need that extra you know razz the dazzle because you know what I mean like we, you and I know probably you're more advanced than me I'm I'm very intermediate you know but and there's more people with more skill so like we would use them for big stuff that yeah. we need or you would use them when you need big stuff so definitely you know you, you build like a whole network around them domestic no for sure you and really did like you're the only one really out here creating networks yeah and network circle that's what that's you know i, I we take well i take pride well, so mm-hmm. we take pride in that um because I think your network determines a lot of, of how far you get, you know, and, yeah. and, and uh, even with us going out of town now and, and things like that, it makes yeah. it that much bigger and better. Heck yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, back to the, the, the breaking point, like, yeah, you. I think you mentioned something about me getting in my own head. Like, now nah, that happened too, because yeah. I started to think like, damn, do I really, you know, am I really for this or is this really for me? And yeah. I was... I was so gung ho on just making it happen. Like, nah, Good. I said I was gonna do this because that's Good. how I am. If I said I'm gonna do something, I want to see it to fruition. I want to see it. Good. You know, and and, and man, here we are, a hundred episodes later. It's like crazy. Yeah, a hundred episodes later. What would you tell anybody in the beginning of the journey that wants to do podcasting but is in their head right now? Man, I guess I would just say, man, just jump in, go all in, jump in, and 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 get started Mm -hmm. you know because the you know and you and i talked about this you know you just the longer you wait for things to be right it'll just never happen and and i'm not saying don't plan but take some time to plan if you haven't started take some time plan it out that's what we did you know we had the artwork and and everything done i even paid uh shout out to houston's own mc i had paid him to do the intro song for us oh that's cool um and, and then we had the artwork and we we literally went crazy with it you know um that's good yeah so yeah. It, it, we again we had uh, so much love we had we definitely had some tdm talk was definitely something special i hear a lot is. of people say it still is. it's a platform that's needed for for our people yeah. you know cause we don't really i mean let's let's think about it who's really out there still you know consistently doing it mm-hmm. you know jay vaz is in a semi-retirement he'll be back though we're gonna get him out of <laughs> retirement no, yeah jay vaz we need you we gotta come back finish the hype Mm-hmm. but yeah so i would just say you know yeah make sure your ducks are in a row get started with what you what you got and and just keep going there's gonna be days where you don't want to or you feel mm-hmm. like man nobody's watching no out of my numbers nobody's are really listening. low mm-hmm. nah you'll keep if you really love it like i do you'll keep going yeah what do you love the most about it just the conversations yeah like whether it's with you or with someone we've interviewed, just having that conversation mm-hmm. and, and learning. I feel like I learn something new every time I talk with somebody and, and I think it's a, I think it's yeah. great, you know, and then it just also expands your audience, you know, yeah. cause their people are watching you and, and, you know, since you've joined, our numbers have done really well, you know, so, mm-hmm. you know, give, you a, <laughs> give a lot of credit to our co-host here. Man, no, you already have the numbers for sure. I just got, you know, Tia and, and Theo to be like, come on, tap in, I'll get you a 12-pack. No, <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that old and, man that asked you to dance to sponsor uh, maybe. That like, old, you're it. never going to let that one down. No, nope. <laughs> nope. I'm going to put a little old man uh, dancing. A little no. old man. 
No, that's awesome, David. I mean, like I said, I've I've watched you during like throughout your journey. I, I believe so. Um, and just from the moment I met you to like seeing you do, I mean, I would always go on YouTube and watch your podcast, and I'd be like, dang, that is so cool. Like all the time, and then just like, like your conversations, like they flowed so well. Like when you introduced me, I mean, not introduced me when you invited me out to come uh co not co-host but join as like a guest and I was even doing that with you I was like man this is so dope and it just felt so usually like people get intimidated intimidated with the cameras yeah. you know being attached to a mic I didn't feel that like I felt like we were really chopping it up like just regular old people you mm-hmm. know what I mean I forgot about the cameras most of the time other than me trying to suck it in so much <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean it was just and you do a really good job. And yeah. it was cool seeing you interview, like, music artists, mm-hmm. you know, um, vendors, all kinds of people. Like, it's even cool seeing you travel around and doing it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, the, actually, I think the first time that I interviewed you was at the, that Ride With My Dogs thing. Was mm-hmm. that it? Was that the first time I interviewed you? Mm, or did I? No, or? it was before that. Yeah. Okay. Interviewed me. Yeah. No, I think that's the first time you interviewed me. I okay. apologize. Yes. Yeah, so that was actually, I think, the first time I actually traveled like and did it somewhere else other than the studio. Because at first mm. we started at Real Talk 100. Then we filmed about eight episodes at Urban Goods. Uh, shout out to Marty and, and mm. Lou and everybody over there. Mm-hmm. Then we moved into a studio of 1960. Did you ever come to that one? Okay, yeah, yeah. See, you've been, you, you damn near been with me the yeah. whole time, basically. So I've been literally just watching because you're inspiring, and Thank I think you. you inspire a lot of other people as well. And I, you, man, you need that credit because the credits do for sure. Thank you, thank 100 you. A hundred episodes. I know, I can't wait. For real. A hundred episodes. That's fucking badass. It's still like a, seeing numbers. I'm like, damn, a hundred. that's a hundred episodes. And, and um, that's not easy to do. No. And especially when you don't have like a, a set place to do it at. Yeah. You know, so I did those and I did some for... Uh, that's a Mexican in you, though. The like, Hustler mentality, scared. yeah. Like, hey, so I was scared. I was scared. I'm going to make it happen regardless, You can't bro. call in. You can't call in. You got to go to work all the time. Like, I ain't got a studio. Guess what? I'll pull up on you yeah. type of thing. Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. We'll go outside. We'll go wherever and, you know, Cash shoot the outside. interview. Yeah, can't hey. outside. How about that? <laughs> you got to work? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll, I'll pull up on your lunch break. What's up? Exactly. Hey, give me good 15 minutes. We're good. Yes. I even did... I even... I, well, I'll, I'll wait to you. Actually, no, I, I forgot us. about. Okay. Yes, tell us. I want to hear. So I did a, a a podcast on um on Instagram Live with some people from Canada. Shout out to Dwendy uh, and uh, um. Oh my God! How do I how do I forget her name? That is crazy. You're gonna have to edit it. <laughs> just cut out a little two seconds. I, I'm literally like like just. Just keep it Canada. I know her her Instagram name, but I know her name. I just I, it's weird. <laughs> I'm literally just drawing a blank. But anyway, shout out to them. Uh, just do it, mommy. That's what she is on Instagram. Um, just do it, mommy. I like that name. Yeah, it's, I think it's pretty dope. Yes. Um, I I'm gonna punch myself for not remembering <laughs> her name because we're really really cool. So anyway, this that we did the interview on a Tuesday. She tells me she really wants to come visit Houston, you know, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, well, let me know if you ever come out. You know, we'll show you around, take care of you. Man, they came out Thursday. Oh, shit. Yeah, snap. from Montreal to, you but know. But they already had a plan. No. Oh. They planned it after the episode. Mm. Yeah, so within that one day, that Wednesday or, you know, or so. They say, look, we catching, we for real about this. We catching a flight tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> nah, for real. And that's what it seemed like because she's mm-hmm. like, well, we'll be there Thursday. And she sends me the picture of the plane ticket. And I was like, oh, wow. So I had, I was like, let me clear my, my schedule. Heck yeah, Canada. You know, uh, uh, take And all we know is Drake from over there. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Take a wild guess where I took him to. Dagonazo. Yep. Woo-hoo! I know. <laughs> Winner, winner. They loved it, huh? They loved it. Oh, we you have see a video. Bun B there? We had no, yeah, I saw Bun B there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to get out of Brought him down oh. to two. Come on, come on, come on. Taco Nasso, you know, you know. We're Brad in the hood. Come on, guys. How y'all like him? Yeah, I 
already know we in the hood. Y'all heard that. <laughs> so dope. They got to go to the Astros game. Wow. Um, I took them to a pop up in Pasadena. I think I saw you there that day. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. You weren't vending, but you. I think you had just kind of pulled up at that Pachuco's place. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and then they went to see Mexican OT perform. Oh, that is they went so to cool. Puro Norte. You know, they yeah, loved it. Puro Norte. I told I... they wanted to go dancing, and I said, "Go!" I said, "Puro Norte is pretty dope." Like they were looking for that style of music, okay. and they went up there. So I, I thought that you had was a good dope. Time? So the crazy thing about that, I interviewed her before they left mm -hmm. i was dropping them off at the airport and we literally got like in the back seat of my suburban i put the the camera on the tripod in the middle on that console and we did the episode oh, like that wow. yeah that's so dope yeah. man you took them to do all houston things they got to really see houston that is so dope to the point where they th they're thinking about moving out here yeah. like they, they loved it I'm gonna so tell much you, if you're moving out here you gotta be, pre be prepared for that heat because it's no joke you gotta be prepared for all these power outages evidently <laughs> yes that <laughs> is true and, and you know it's a little rough compared to canada let me just say that <laughs> nah it, i know you know but, they, but you're loving here <laughs> no for sure they loved it their, 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 the the yeah. weekend that they still few i think they were here thursday through sunday i guess that is so they dope. loved it yeah yes. so I, that I was definitely that. one of my favorite moments of, of doing interviews like okay we're just gonna you're gonna have to put a clip of y'all's uh interview in the car i will i will that has to be like the most unique place right? and we were like outside the airport that is so cool you know where you drop them at the drop-off thing we, yeah. we i parked there and we got in the back seat and then her fiance went and turned you know pressed power for me um or record i mean yeah and we did it we did the episode just like that, that so. is so cool though is that like the most unique place that you've ever recorded definitely the most unique place okay. yeah that's the only episode like that so yeah you know other than that i've been outside i've been inside studios i've been uh pretty much everywhere you know yeah. and then we um we were at the studio with uh with my boy um uh gil is that his name damn i'm just like forgetting uh it's the bear yeah i guess <laughs> And then we linked up with uh, with Javaz. Oh, okay. You know, towards the t the tail end of last year, mm -hmm. I did one episode in December, and then we started fresh January. We were there from January until April, and now we're we're here recording. You know, oh, now we're here recording. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see the mm -hmm. the gradual, um, yeah, you know, uh, changes in in the talk show, and, and yeah. don't ever think something's gonna stay the same all the time. There's gonna be, how you start is not always how you finish so yeah well i'm gonna ask you a couple more questions but okay. towards the end but let me let us all know what's the most funniest episode or podcast or recording or moment that you've ever had with tdm so the one that so a lot of I, i'm i like to laugh i like to joke so a lot of them are, are funny but mm -hmm. there's one moment that i had absolutely nothing to do with that was like the funniest thing ever uh, and a lot of people don't know this, but there was an mm -hmm. episode where I was interviewing uh, Acosta the Man and Navy Jones Locker. Uh, Navy Jones Locker is an artist. He's from originally from uh, New York, I think, but oh, wow. lives in Cali. And the producer, Acosta, he's from California as well. Nice. We love Cali. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Mm -hmm. And they were here in town. And, you know, I was like, well, yeah, we'll bring him in for an interview. So we're sitting facing you know like i'm facing them they're on this side you know and and javaz and and uh, anna shout out to anna she was hey, anna. off to the left but the door is on this side to go out like if you want to go to the restroom or if somebody's coming up yeah to be able to let them in you got to go over there so um i got a text from one of the artists one of the next people we were interviewing that mm -hmm. they were here so i can see they're talking so when they're talking, the camera's on them. So they, the camera doesn't see what I'm doing. So I'm like, you know, telling them, like, hey, you got to go open the door. And I look over and she's asking Javas, how do I get by without crossing the camera? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I think he like jokingly like was like, you know, you got to crawl. And I swear. Oh, next he to, said it jokingly? I think so. I don't think he, I don't think he meant for her to, to really uh, uh And Anna's crawl. so little. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She is so small, man. So I it, see her just going down or what? Next thing I know, she's literally crawling across the floor. Wow. And I'm just like, and then we're all laughing. She's crazy. And then I remember saying, Yeah, I don't really know what's going on here. And, and I just we and then we I said I, I and I told Javis, don't edit it out. Leave yeah, that in the it. episode and all that. Like I wanted 
Because I want it to be organic and yeah. transparent. So Did you guys get her crawling, though? No, oh. no. There was no footage of her crawling. <laughs> but they're, the, the guests are cracking up. Oh, I'm, my and goodness. And I'm trying not to laugh because I'm trying to be professional. But it was just so damn funny. And that was definitely <laughs> the funniest moment because, like, to this day, it's just like no one's ever done anything like that, you know. Yeah. We shout did out it. to Anna, though. Yeah, Anna shout out to Anna. always showing love. Uh, she's a real always. one, for sure. Supporting, you know, she yeah. shows up. And, she has a good heart. Yeah. We got to bring her on one day. Yeah. We'll talk with. She's got an, a, an interesting story as well, so. Yeah. But, yeah, so that was definitely one that, that stands out as, like, the one of the funniest moments. The episode wasn't too that funny, but that was, like, That was the, the most funniest part. That's yeah. too funny. So, you know... Um, in a few minutes, you'll well right about now. You'll we'll show the clip of, of that that segment, and you guys can go mm. and check it out. I guess uh, <laughs> I don't know. If this is gonna. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're not gonna. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah no one, no like, one will know what. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> like, it There's a first time for everything on no, CDM talk. It, see, man, it, was, it, we, it had us cracking up, and we, we laughed about it, and, and, and even after, we just still. Um, and I had Javaz as a clip that part for me, bro, please, because I'm going to. And then I posted it and, and and still I didn't even say what happened. So, yeah, y'all are getting the, the behind the, the scenes, the behind the scenes. Yeah. Now, what so. really happened? What really happened? Why were they la- What were they laughing at? Like, yes. Yeah. So, what about the most heartfelt? Uh, the most heartfelt for sure. I want to say it was my boy Two Tones interview. Two um, shout out to Two Tone. Uh, he, his story is just like, it'll just blow your mind. I mean, you what know, does he, Two-Tone do? He's an artist. He's an artist. He raps. Okay. Um, he just dropped an album a few months back. Nice. Uh, earlier this year, Congrats. I want to say. Yeah. And he, um, you know, in, in like a, in like a short time frame, he lost like his mother and a brother, mm-hmm. uh, you know, so, and then plus just a lot of drama that he was going with, with you know, through a lot of things in life. Like, it's like one of those where everything hit him at, at one time. At one and time. and, and uh, just hearing that story was just, just crazy. But what's even more surprising than that is his mindset. Mm-hmm. Even having gone through that, he's still upbeat. He's still positive. He's still... Love that. Because he could have easily that. been like, man, F life. Yeah. I don't care about life Let anymore. Let it get the best of him. I'm going to crash out. Yeah. Nah, he's still, no. you know... And the fact that he's still putting on for like his actual career, doing music, and, correct? Man, that's beautiful. Because you know what? Not a lot of people have that mindset. Usually, when uh, tragic things happen, it's hard for them to even speak about it. So for him to be, you know, sharing his story with y'all guys, I mean, everybody feels, you know, when someone goes in through something so tragic, especially when yeah. losing somebody, everybody feels it for yeah. sure. Everybody yeah. feels it because they can relate to that. But or somewhat really, you know, maybe not those family members, but the fact that he's still out here grinding and shining and still trying to do his thing throughout all of that. That's beautiful. Yeah, no doubt. So shout out to him. Um, mm-hmm. He literally had us and, and and I'm not afraid to admit it. I was a bit teary eyed hearing the mm-hmm. story and I was Anna was crying. You know, she was off on yeah. the side working the cameras and, and I look over and she's, you know, doing this, you know, mm-hmm. like. Because it, it is, like you said, it is touching, especially when you've lost someone, it's, it, it can kind of get to you. And then you yeah. can hear that pain. Like his album, I think it's called Paralyzed Pain. Yeah. So, it, you know, it, it, it has significant meat. You know, he's got his mom on the cover. And, That's so dope. And like, I, I, I still have my mother. I'm blessed enough to say I have my mother. So it's, 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 I don't know what that's like, you know. So, I yeah. mean. I don't want to know for a very long time. Nah, facts, facts. <laughs> for you know? sure. Uh, so, yeah. So, shout out to Two-Tone. You know, he definitely gave us um We've had a few other episodes, you know, uh, Mr. Crucial as well, that, that were just really, the st- some of the stories we've heard are just amazing. You know, yeah. just like, man, you really went through a lot and, and here inspiring. you are still succeeding. Yeah, it's inspiring, motivating, yeah. all that. So That's dope. And you had that on your platform. Yeah, for you sure. You had that on your platform. Yeah. That awesome. That's nice. Yeah. Because, you know, not a, not a lot of people in our culture do open up. So the fact that you have brought people on to open up on your show, whether it's laughing, sharing a heartfelt story, sharing anything personal, just know that you brought that out. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. uh, that, that, is, that is actually in that time span, mm-hmm. we had Mr. Crucial. We had uh, Two-Tone. Tillo was also one. Hello. 
Mm-hmm. And, and Tillo, you know, Tillo, he's a dancing, you know, having fun, always smile on his face. Yeah. Really cool, cool guy. But this particular episode, he was he got on some real talk, you know, yeah. about the kids and parents and, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, I see that little clip on Instagram. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Um, and on TikTok, I think it went like somewhat viral, I guess, nice. like 65,000 something views. Oh, like, that's a lot. A lot of comments back and forth because he was like, you know, I don't like how parents talk to their kids in the grocery store sometimes where they're cursing mm-hmm. at them. And it created a whole like yeah. debate. Like, don't tell me how to talk to my kids and like yeah, yeah tell some of you guys struggle with raising your kids by the way yeah. your response to that is but well or they're probably raising their kids the way their parents raised them yeah. so they don't see the bad in that yeah but i think everybody kind of knows what's good and what's bad you know what i mean so that's just them trying to you know go into defense mechanism you know mm. putting up that guard like hold up yeah but at the same time it's like Kids are kids, like, they don't know. They know better, but they don't know no better. Yeah, they got to, yeah. like, learn and get through it. And, I mean, us at a, at our age, we we know now. That's why you got to teach them when they're young, because if, if you don't correct the bad when they're young, that when they get older, it's normal behavior to them. And, and People the, don't realize you're literally raising our future. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Our future. Like, yeah, they're your kid. But you got to raise them to be decent human beings because one day they're going to be a grown adult. And then what? And then what? They're going to still be acting like they were. You when know, they were, they're, they're going to be locked up. You know, something bad. They're just not going to have that guidance. So. Yeah. And, I mean, that's a good topic. Yeah. We ought to bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Y'all be looking at that episode is, will be yeah. coming. But, uh, you know, I, I think uh, during, again, and that was like almost tail end of, of us, like, leaving the studio or whatever our mm-hmm. last few days of that and uh, being in that studio like we had a lot of like powerful um stories and and to the point where like like even god was brought up a lot and i would have never yeah. thought we'd be like discussing god as much as we were yeah. in those conversations but these are you know they were bringing that up you know how god you know, i feel like god was just speaking to them at that certain at that specific time yeah. or point and to us as well because we took it like man you know god's trying to tell us something you know and yeah and uh, so, yeah, it was, uh, I think, towards tail end, we, we had some some really dope content. Um, it's beautiful that you even let that in there because not a lot of people allow religious things on their platform. That's true, too. They'll bleep it out or they'll cut it out it, entirely because they don't, they feel like they'll get backlash, you know. Um, yeah. Nah, we, we. Talk I, about it all. Yeah, hey, we, yeah. we ain't, we ain't going to sugarcoat it, man. Like, yeah. how you feel is how you feel. We're going to let you get that off your chest, you yeah. know, and, and just as I am going to say how I feel and how I think. So. Yeah, you don't always have to agree with it, but that's their opinion. Yeah, you know? for sure, for sure. So. so, okay, we talked about heartfelt. We talked about funniest. What is the most memorable one? What, what Which one stuck with you the most? Uh, Which the, one lives in your head? Rip so we, so we, we got this show so that we can educate, edify, and entertain okay. the other people. But because I, I, I know it's that so grassa, you like know, our people, like not just, we're not just, we're not just like a, you know, something special yeah. that's attached to them. But I, I'm gonna go ahead and say the first one uh, okay. because that's like the the baby. That's what started it all. That's tell episode me, one. Tell me the preparation, a little bit about the preparation up to it. And then tell me about the actual episode itself. I'm glad you asked that because, so I was preparing for this back in November, the per year prior. Well, we started uh, January 5th or 6th was our first episode. It was that first Thursday nice. in January. So right after the new year. Yeah, nice. We were kicking it off. Um, I got strep throat. Ooh. Like two weeks before, two, about two weeks, maybe a week or two before the Ooh. episode. We, we thought we were going to have to push it back because I couldn't talk. Oh wow! I, my throat was like like it, it, it. I was in so much pain. Um, that is so crazy to hear. A lot of people do not know that, and wow. I was telling them I was like, you know, I, we we were in a group chat and I was texting because I couldn't, you know, I talk or do voice messages. I was like, yeah, we might have to push it back a week, you know. Yeah. But we had already been promoting the premiere episode yeah. of that. They're like, David, we're gonna do it without you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it was almost gonna come to yeah. that. I was like, look, wow. if push come to shove, y'all three do it. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll sit this one out. You know, they're like, no, you can't, you can't. You're, this is your thing. And I'm like, I know, but I can't, you know. Like, you physically could not talk. I just couldn't do it's it. It's so painful. It is. It was like that. That was like the craziest shit ever, man. Like, 
that I even got that because I've never had that in my life. That's God testing you. You ready for this or not? <clears throat> you down or not? And you're right because we were, so that Monday and mm-hmm. Tuesday, I think by Tuesday I was, I was good. I was back normal. But wow. that Monday before and, and the weekend, I was, I was, I was bad. I was yeah, down bad. There. But I was oh. taking di- uh, not di- uh, antibiotics. antibiotics. Yeah. Yeah. And and I li- little by little, I was, I was sleeping a lot, drinking a lot of water, just trying to get Healthy. right for that. Yeah. And, That's dope. And we made it happen. But the preparation was insane because there, I, I spent a lot of nights going back and forth with hardcore over artwork. We had took pictures, sent it to him. You know, I gave mm-hmm. everybody a shirt. Uh, we took pictures in the shirt. Yeah, shirts. Yeah, shout out to you for wearing the shirt, man. Yes. And, uh, you know, so just a lot. And that was just all me, you know. And yeah. then uh, financially as well, you know, putting the money behind everything. Yeah. Making sure we were uh, on go with, with literally everything. Yeah. So uh, that was that was tough because while everybody was, I think Mexican Nectar was like in Cali with her family, which I mean, hey. Mm-hmm. It's Christmas, New Year, yeah. you know. Hey, you know you're gonna be. Holidays. Yeah, yeah, everybody's doing their thing. Me, no, nah, I was, I was focused on. Yeah, getting, this is what you wanted to do. This is what I want. Yeah. So, yeah. So not the, that they didn't want it, but you know no, what I mean. Yeah. It was like you were gonna, you and your own like personality, like you said earlier. Once you have your mind set on something, you're gonna go hard yeah. on it. So that was you going hard on TDM. That's one thing I do want to say. If you got your own vehicle, you got your own platform, no one is going to work for it the way you are. Oh, yeah. You got to put in the work. Even if nobody, even if you got a... a nobody believes you. Yeah. Nobody wants to help you. Nobody comes out and supports you. Who's your biggest supporters? Is it family? Is it friends? Obviously, you have your wife, but I'm saying like, was it your family and friends or was it strangers? It was strangers, to right? be honest. Well, I don't want to say strangers, but a lot of friends. I, I was, I, I went reminiscing and looking back at the yeah. first episode and saw a lot of the comments. A lot of friends, you know, from the yeah. baseball community, from me coaching yeah. to people I worked with, uh, people that knew me from church or from school and, and different, just, yeah. you know, or people in the industry. The call ins were amazing. Uh-huh. Um, it was just so much love. Like, so, and, and it came from, uh, that's actually how I just, dis- how I came in contact with the people from Canada. They actually were watching oh, okay. and reached out and then we connected. And, That's and so, uh, dope. so you just never know who's watching and we, yes. we definitely appreciate it. Um, but some of the, I, I'm going to give a shout out to some people. Uh, Zach, Zach, you know, Zach been with me since day one. Zach is cool. Yeah. Zach's good people. Good yes. people. Uh, my boy Dice, he's a big supporter of the, uh, a supporter of the show. David, my boy, David, uh, David. He's he's yes. so supportive. He is. Right? He's always showing love on my TikToks. Yeah. On my Instagrams. He's always showing love. Sh- shout out to David. Yeah, he was just blowing up my phone, like reposting all the, the, the vendor flyers and tagging me oh. in it. And I was trying to catch up, but I was driving and trying to get here. And I, Yeah. I, but I got you, D. I, I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> uh, my boy, KT, Sneak Apparel. Nice. Uh, man, uh, Cuban Diva, you Cuban know. Cuban Diva. These are people. Cuban Diva was our first phone call. Oh wow! When we when we were taking phone calls that first episode, mm-hmm. she was the first one to call. <gasps> For real? Yep. That is so cool. Yeah. So. So she, Cuban Diva has been with you since day one, pretty much too. Pretty much as well. Yep. They were actually our first guests on TV and talk. Her, uh, Anthony, and uh, Ghetto uh, G. Mm-hmm. They them three are hip hop live review, hip hop live oh, show. Okay. Um, so yeah, y'all go. Tap in with them. Man, heck yeah. Yeah, they, they were our first guest. I had to make a special. I was like, well, I want our first guest to be someone that's close to us, you know. Mm-hmm. And, of course, naturally, you know, uh, she's always just showing so much love with no ulterior motive whatsoever. Love so, that. She does. She yeah. Does. I, 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 so much we love. got a lot of real ones, you know, around you around do. us. So, I mean, you being one. Yeah. Uh, man, I hope I don't forget nobody, but I know them off top. Yeah. It, it's for sure. And I know no, some of them have, don't like, even a whole ask community for community of people. Definitely. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Like I said, you created this whole network, this whole platform, and it's all people the same kind of color. Not that you discriminate. No, no. You know, not that, but like TDM talk, them damn Mexicans. Yeah. Like, what, explain about the brand. What made you come up with that name? Because it is a very. Them that mess Bold. Mm-hmm. It just came to me, you know. I, yeah. um, like I said, we it all it started as a management management team. 
Yeah. I always wanted to be the behind the scenes guy. I didn't. I'm t- like yeah. I said earlier. I didn't. I'm not the in front of the camera kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Well, not even, well now I am, but yeah. Before it was like, no, I just want to be in the background. Yeah. Like, so we, you know, uh, we're gonna do a management team for Big Jerb, RP Big Jerb, mm-hmm. uh, and he came up with the logo, and it just stuck, man. People loved Love it. it, and and uh, I don't know, I don't know why it came to me, but it just did. Like I literally yeah. heard a white woman's voice saying it in my head. Yeah. And like a Karen, I guess, and uh, Karen. like getting mad at you, like skin. there you go, <laughs> do it again, I'll do that again. <laughs> I, got I can never Karen. do it. I can uh, never do right? It. I got my Karen voice on point. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But yeah, that's how it came to me. Really, it, it, it really had no significant. Like, yeah. there was no special meaning behind it. I just one day heard it in my head and I told Jerb what it was. Jerb did the, the logo, the, the logo you, you yeah. have on your shirt. Um, and then that was it. And then naturally, we wanted to incorporate it in the podcast as well. Yeah. We were going to call it, the, it was going to be called um, TDM Podcast. Mm hmm. No, TDM Talk is perfect. But the uh, I didn't. So this is something I didn't know either. Uh, Lisa at at uh, Real Talk One Hundred was like, "Well, no, you guys are not a podcast. Y'all are a talk show." And I was like, "How you figure?" She goes, <clears throat> "Excuse me, because y'all are live, mm. a podcast." And I just learned this the other day while I was watching an interview with Nori from Drink Champs, and he said a podcast is really just audio. Yeah. And he's like, the video is separate. Um, but a lot of people are incorporating that into their podcasts now. Because yeah. I know several podcasts that just started off as just audio. Mm-hmm. And now they have like Did a big it. platform on YouTube. Yeah. Um, there, There's a couple of people. Um, their, to- their podcast is called Poor Minds Decision. Okay. And it's a girl's podcast. And... It's a couple of girls, Lex, uh, Lex P, and um, oh, I can't remember the other girl's name, but they're from Houston. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, okay. they're from Houston, but they moved over to uh, Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, but they do both. They Let's do check both, that out. and they actually have their podcast where they make drinks before. Because mm-hmm. there's another uh, another female uh, podcast as well that they started off the same way. And they also do live shows. Mm. They travel around the states and do live shows. See, uh, actually, shout out to Teddy Tuesday. She's uh, her oh, podcast yeah. is a uh, is a uh, in person, you know, yeah. like that live. Audience. Yeah, yeah, we went to one where she had a little Boosie there, and, and um, you know, we we had the you know we we were, we came in as media, so I was able. Yeah. I, I think I took Angie and Adrian with me. That's cool. And uh, I got to ask him a question, you know, mm-hmm. uh, from the stage. I gave him a shirt and everything, you That's know. That's cool. Uh, but I think that's dope. Like, I think one yeah. day we would love to do a live. You so that's know. what you would want in the future? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. That would be cool. What What else do you see in the future? What else do you picture for TDM Talk? So there's a movie that really, like, inspires the hell out of me. Uh, yeah? It's called You People with um, Eddie Murphy's in it. Uh, um, what's my guy's name? Um, not Seth Rogen, the Jonah Hill. Oh, okay, yeah. He's in it, and Lauren London. It's where like you know he's a white guy. He meets her and kind of falls in love with her, mm-hmm. but because he's a Jewish white and she's black, you know, and, mm. and I think that, I think Eddie Murphy plays like a Muslim. They kind of clash, but he he was doing so anyway. He's doing podcasting with a with a friend of his, and they, you know they were pretty much local kind of thing, and yeah. and and then toward at the end of the movie, I think the last scene is he got picked up by complex like their podcast got picked up by complex so now they have this big ass badass studio nice. and getting paid to do it you know and i was like oh that would be dope like yeah. if one day we get you know a, a platform like that picked yeah. up by a bigger platform and they put us out and, and we get to actually you know like cameron and mace you know they have a podcast called it is what it is i love that mm-hmm. podcast they, they talk about sports but they keep it so real, you know, yeah. they be talking shit to the players, like like literally cursing at them and yeah. talking crazy. But they they had a, they struck like a big deal with like another company, like nice. kind of like, OK, we're going to pay you I mean, 80 mil or something mm-hmm. like that. And um, yeah, so I, I, things like that inspire yeah. the hell out of me. And then especially I mean, us being Mexican, Nike, Latino. Nike, if you want to sponsor us, we're both wearing Nike. Yeah, <laughs> look, I'm taking my chunk off. You know, we're both wearing Nike. We're part of the Mexican community. <laughs> hey, we'll put the little check right here, Nike. Uh, look, right. you put you the check what? here. We, we would make a good tax write-off. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, I agree. Philip uh, Knight. Fitted hats. Uh, what's up? You know what I mean? I- <laughs> 
for the loom. You got to survive. I would wear Nike every damn day. I already do, kind of. Look, my socks are Nike. My slides are Nike. Let me so. bring down my sons. <laughs> Matter of fact, look, my undershirt is Nike. He so said, hold up, Nike. Come at us. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, so, but, if you know, if you're out there watching and you want to, you know, cut the check. Uh, hey. No. Sabes que? We're ready. <laughs> hey, aquí estamos, bro. We, mm -hmm. hey, we do Just it tell English. us what to talk about. I got it. <laughs> we, hey, we'll diss Adidas and whoever you want us to. I don't, I don't right? care. I'm part of corporate world, so I know how to talk business, too. What's up? <laughs> hey. Nah, uh, but for real, I, I, I see us eventually, you know, where we you know, get paid to, to do this and really yeah. just shoot the shit and talk and... Interview some big people. Yeah, would, interview that would be dope. Who would be, like, your go-to, like, one person that you would want to interview? Like, the goals. Like, anybody or, or like... Anybody. Like, who you really want to interview in your future? Like, who would you love to see on TDM Talk? Who would you love to hear their story on? You know what I mean? Who would you like to invite over? Boosie? <laughs> Boosie. Boosie would make for an interesting Nah, Boosie would be, you got Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> for real. It, it, that list is, 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 is like way too long. I think if I had to like. Just give me one. Or, Just give me one. Or pick one. Uh, damn. I think it's a tie. I think Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, or mm -hmm. or Damon Dash. Damon Dash is someone that I kind of look to. You know, I like how he thinks. I agree with what he be saying about mm -hmm. you know just basically being your own boss and 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 putting the money up yourself. That way, no yeah. one can control. You know, because he did the movie pay. He talked about how he did the movie paid in full, but he did it with somebody else. Oh wow! And he had to ask to put Cameron in the movie to play that part, even though he, Cameron killed that part. Yeah, he did. So it was a good decision. Uh, but he still had to ask that. Now he makes his own movies. Yeah, yeah, now he makes his own movies. He ain't got to ask no more. And yeah. that's kind of like, that's the thing I used to say. I would be like, you know what? We're tired of asking. We're yeah. we're creating our own platform. Our own platforms. Yeah. We're, do, we're creating our own clothing line, our own clothes, our yeah. own talk shows. We throw our own events, you know. Yeah. So, a um, whole brand overall. A whole brand overall that's going to serve everything. Everything, you know? yeah. Yeah, so That's dope. yeah, I would definitely like to, you know, and I was able to be at a at a at a conference with him at, at Rice University last year. Nice. Yeah, uh, shout out to Derek, man. For, he's a uh, little Flint's manager. Uh, oh, I know him. Yeah, mm -hmm. he um he got me in as media, oh, and I was able cool. to sit literally a few feet and record the. It's the, good people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derek, very dope, man. We had, actually that was a good interview too. Yeah, a good a good conversation, I say. So yeah, because um, he manages more than Little Flip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he has Skyra Bliss. I know uh, Cody Blake, uh, my boy Tim Ned. Uh, Tim Ned is hella talented. Um, I know he's got something going on with Zero as well. So nice. yeah, he, he's got a lot going on. I, I love what he's doing with the brand. And you see, Little Flip just got a a beer at Carbox. I did. I did <laughs> see that. I think that's dope. Seven one three day. He just released one. I think one. Paul Wall did something too with <laughs> with uh with like a liquor. I think. Thug. Oh yeah, with the liquor. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna say him and Slim Thug. They do have their beer. I think at Eighth Wonder, right? Yeah. Yeah. Slim Thug's another one. I would I would love to just pick his brain because I know he just keeps it so real. So real. Yeah. Even on his, I'm telling you, on his Instagram, oh, he yeah. goes live almost every day. He always had something inspiring to say, for real. So Slim, if you're watching this, bro, hey, do it for the North, dog. Yes, you know do it for North let's, Side. Let's mm -hmm. go. You know. Yeah, I rode bikes with him one time. Oh, he was super, you? super humble. Yes. Yeah, no, he's always though. We, I saw him at the the last time I physically seen him was at the Mexican OT's last listening. Well, um, the Luchador album mm -hmm. release, uh, listening party or release party mm -hmm. uh, at A10 Bowling. You know, I seen him up there. You know. Uh, it was just all love, you know, said what's up, chopped it up a bit, and then, you know, just everybody just kept it moving. Because I was over there with Watts, and um, I think GT Garza had just pulled up. Oh, like, nice. It was crazy just kind of being in the same room with, so you know, yeah. Real Tune TV was there. You know, he's got a big platform, too. So That's dope. being in the same room with all these people, you know. Shout out to Cuban Diva again, man. She <laughs> made that happen. She had an extra invite, you know. Nice. And, and I said, I told Trap Visions, come on, you're going to record this, you know. Yeah. And we got a good you know, video out of it. So yeah, man, just Good. it's a lot of people uh, again that I would love to pick their brain. Yeah, so. definitely. Just to kind of like see their point of view, hear their Correct. thoughts and opinions. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know, so part of another thing that I would love to see happen is like 
have spinoffs from TDM Talk, like, you know, um, and of course, you know, continue to work with you in, in some capacity, you know, whether you take over as host, you know, not kind of like get out the way, you know, or, you know, with real hot mom shit with what you're doing. Like, I love yeah. that. I think I love that. I could see it being a big thing and, and you know, having having that platform. Uh, for all the hot moms? Yeah, for all the hot moms, you know. Now anyone think. for all the hot dads, all the hot Anna. <laughs> all, the hot, all the hot tias. All right. Sabes que abuela, you're invited too. Hey, <laughs> then my abuela's going to have something to say. Like, what about Man, us? right. You know they got stories to tell. I, well, I was about to say, some grandmas probably like in their 40s. Mm -hmm. There's some grandmas, that's, you know what I'm saying, like in their mm -hmm. 40s. Um, so, uh, whoa, punch whoa. my son in the neck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't have me out here being no grandma. Nah, exactly. <laughs> it's already hard for me in these streets. <laughs> nah, exactly. You be babysitting, taking a baby with you. Uh -uh. I can't even go out. But nah, yeah, I just, <laughs> I, 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 I just continue. I just see it continuing to grow bigger and bigger in, 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 in an organic way. You know, it, it always takes longer organically when you're doing it the right way. So, yeah. I mean, but I don't think I would have it any other way. Sometimes, like, I get, how do you say it in English? Like, man, it's a Like, I get. Yeah frustrated i guess because yeah. i want to you want to do more and yeah. yeah so but you know what i think what you have done what you created like you said it was organically we all see it we see the growth we all support we love you know what i mean yeah. it's all love and we love the way you're doing it so yeah. man, you. congratulations Thank again you. on 100 episodes y'all guys make sure to like and subscribe to us you know what i mean like let's continue growing this platform let's continue you know putting out more content man hopefully you know we'll get more feedback from everybody we always get feedback but i'm saying like we get even more we'll get more opportunities yeah. um definitely thank you for letting me be a part of tdm talk no uh, thank thank you for you know just even accepting to be a part of that and and then just for allowing us to be here you know and, and being able to record here because it keeps us going and, yeah. and sharing the 100th episode with you is special because it's like you know it's the so 100th dope. episode you yeah. know like I when you told me i was like i'm gonna be a part of this yeah. like this is awesome i just told my boy uh crispin out in dallas you know he's a global latin factor i'd sent him his flyer for embrace the culture and mm -hmm. he was and i was like i was like my bad bro i'm like i'm driving and i'm on my way to film our 100th episode he was like he even kind of was like, wow, congratulations, you know, 100 mm -hmm. episodes. And I was like, damn, is it really that? I guess because I don't, you know, yeah. I'm not thinking of it like that because I'm already thinking like, okay, I got I got way more stuff I want to do. But no, nah, I appreciate everybody that just supports us, man, and loves us. Yeah. Man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and, and interact with us a little bit more. We do get a lot of, you know, positive feedback, so I appreciate We'll put some clips, you know, you'll be, a, you guys will be able to see a lot more and, and you can always go back and look at every episode from beginning to end. Yeah. If you go to the playlist tab on our YouTube channel, it's, it's, you know, TDM talk season one live mm -hmm. TDM talk live season two, uh, and then TDM talk year one year two yeah uh, so it's, it's split up in the even the taco truck too you were a part of that you were part of the first yeah it, i'm part of history baby look <laughs> my girl been down from you from let me jump. be a part you let me be a part that's so dope you know, i'm really I, a part of history but i see and i told you this you know i see something special in you so i know okay. like involving you in, with what i do mm -hmm. it, it, it's like a win-win type of thing you know yeah. we both can can uh you know get something out of yeah. it and, and that's always what we strive for so man on that note man we we can keep going on about it but again thank you guys mm -hmm. for uh thank you. yeah for watching because we wouldn't get to no 100 episodes if y'all really weren't watching and you know things mm -hmm. like that because it, it you know it, it, it can it can definitely break you when you like damn nobody really watched this episode yeah. and i think maybe that's probably just a guess you know yeah. I, I don't know but you know because most of the episodes do pretty good then you yeah. have some that don't do as well but anyway Again, man, thank you guys. Thank uh, appreciate y'all. We're looking forward to the next 100 episodes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're here, man. And on that, on that note, we are Them Damn, damn, damn Mexicans.